Park Hesu probably is best known for his work Prison Playbook. However, is that all? Before moving on, please click on the subscribe button and bell for notification for Korean stars that we cover. Park Hesu was born on 21st November 1981, Seoul, South Korea, and his star sign is Scorpio. He is 182 cm tall. Park Hesu has been interested in acting since childhood. After completing high school, he went on to study acting at an acting institute. There isn't much information about his family, but he and his wife recently welcomed their first child. Park Hesu mainly appeared in theater work from 2007. He began his career on stage performing in The Strongest Comedy, Mr. Lobby, and Arnapurna. He went on to star in theater, Adolescence, in 2008. In 2009, he played in Hero and 39 Stairs. Then in 2010, he performed in A Streetcar Named Desire and Full for Love. In 2011, he appeared in three theater works, The Chorus Oedipus, Full of Flowers, and The Seagull. Not forgetting his performance in theater, Samchan, in 2012. In the same year, he made his TV debut in God of War as one of the monks who raised a palace slave. In 2013, he performed in theater, The Goddess is Watching, and a minor role in television series, Me and Mom and Dad and Grandma and Anna. In 2014, he continued theater performance in Macbeth, Frankenstein, and Men From Us. Then he made his film debut in a minor role, The Pirates, played by main actors Son Ye Jin and Kim Nam Gil. Judo Boy was his latest theater work in 2015. Then he appeared in the film Minority Opinion. Later that year, he starred in the historical political drama Six Flying Dragons with Yu Ah In, Kim Myung Min, Shin Se Kyung, Hyun Yo Han, Yoon Kyun Sung, and Chun Ho Jin. In 2016, he appeared in the action crime film, Master, starring Lee Byung-hyun, Kang Dong-won, and Kim Woo-bin. He also played a recurring character in Legend of the Blue Sea. In 2017, Park Hae-soo made a cameo appearance in The Liar and His Lover. It also marks his first lead role in a black comedy TV series, Prison Playbook, opposite Jung Kyung-ho, Jung Hae-in, and Lee Kyung-hyung. His performance earned him Best New Actor at the Seoul Awards. Moving on, he made a cameo appearance in Memories of the Alhambra, starring Hyun Bin and Park Shin Hye. Then he portrayed his first main role in the crime film, By Quantum Physics, a nightlife venture as a nightclub promoter opposite So Ye Ji. His performance earned him Best New Actor and the 40th Blue Dragon Film Awards. He also appeared in the anthology streaming television series, Persona, in the Collector episode, starring Lee ji Eun, also known as IU. In the same year, Park hae -soo also tied the knot with his non-celebrity girlfriend. He then returned to the big screen once again in 2020 in the dystopian action thriller film, Time to Hunt, opposite actors Lee Jae-hoon, An Hae-jong, Choi Woo-sik, and Park Jong-min. In 2021, Park Hae-soo made a cameo appearance in the sports drama, Racket Boys, and of course starring as the main character in the survivor drama of Netflix as Cho Sang-woo, alongside actors Lee Jung-jae, Gong Yoo, Ho Yeon jung Wee Ha-jun, and Lee Byung-hyun. Park Hae-soo recently started Instagram and already has 1 million followers. His net worth is said to be about 3 to 4 million dollars. He has also modeled for multiple brands including Harper Bazaar. What is upcoming for Park Hae-soo? He will appear in two films, Yacha and Ghost, and Chimera which will be released soon. He is also lined up for two Netflix series, Suriname and Money Heist, based on the Spanish heist crime drama of the same name. When did you first hear about Park Hae-soo and which star should we cover next? Let us know in the comment down below and thank you for watching.